Hello, ladies and gentlemen, crypto deep divers. Welcome back to Weekly Crypto. Today, I'm going to talk about Ethereum DeFi projects or decentralized finance. Also, I will touch on 461 crypto wallet that hold over 40% of Bitcoin and altcoin. And of course, I will touch on Bitcoin as well as gold. So just in case you haven't installed the Brave Browser, you can check it out. Uh, Brave Browser block out all the advertising and surf the internet faster. And also, of course, you can earn basic attention token as well. If you're interested, you can click the link below that will help out my channel. And also, of course, you can follow me on library.tv. And library.tv, uh, you know, previously I, I was banned in YouTube and I transfer my, some of my files to... Uh, to library.tv so you can also uh, follow me on library.tv library.tv is pretty cool because you can earn library token uh, just by watching videos if you're interested you can click the link below so let's talk about oh uh, before we get into that make sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out the upcoming airdrop or token swap also you can follow me on twitter as well of course library.tv so let's talk about go uh I'll probably talk about bitcoin first um <clears throat> So I talk about the BTC USD long position, right? Um, so in my previous video, because uh, previously, I mean, the market has been, uh, there's been, uh, the Bitcoin has been going down and down, right? And of course, uh, there's a recent pump, uh, the tether pump. Uh, the excuses is because of the Iran, US Iran tension. They want to pump the price, but you know, they can give any excuse they want, but uh, obviously this is a tether pump. And the reason of the uh, you know previous uh, the the market has been going is a, in a bearish momentum is got is because of the BTC USD long position, so they want to dump the price to liquidate this long position, and I don't know how far they're going to dump the price uh, to liquidate this position. I think once this position has been liquidated, then no reason more no more reason to dump. I could be wrong as well. Not a financial advice. Use your due diligence, and let's talk about gold quickly. So go. Uh, I have I have talked about go in my previous video. I talked to I told people not to chasing the high when the mainstream media talk about go and silver. Forget about it. Don't buy at the time, because it's too late. You know, when they talk about it, it's time to sell. I think uh, when the mainstream media talk about it, it's almost one thousand six hundred because of the increasing escalation of the U.S. Uh, Iran tension. Of course, oil price uh, spy up as well. And I also talk about. Go uh, the eight to ten year cycle in my previous video. I don't know if you still remember. And at the time, let's see. So go it was at all time high back in twenty eleven. It was almost one thousand eight hundred. And of course, uh, go and silver is uh, like every eight to ten years there's a cycle. So if you bought go uh, back in basically, and uh, to uh, to complete the cycle, just like uh. But Bitcoin, of course, is faster to, to complete the market cycle. To, comp uh, to complete the uh, cycle, then you will start another blue one. I expect right now we are at the start of the uh, next blue one uh, for the gold and silver. Not a financial advice. Use your due diligence. I'm not your financial advisor. This is just for uh, entertainment purposes. And of course, this is after the financial crisis of 2008. And of course, the gold is spiking up like crazy. I remember a friend who bought gold at 500 and basically he sold all his stock in uh, at, in 2000 uh, 2000 uh, uh, in 2005 and at the time the stock market and the housing market is going going crazy it's going it's like uh, at the time is a big biggest they're creating the biggest housing bubble and people are flipping houses the stock market is doing so well everybody is laughing at him is he stupid or what why he sell all his stock and buy gold at the time gold uh, in 2005 is just around 500 bucks and of course he see he's a wise uh, he's a wise person he see the com uh, he see the collapse is coming so that's why he sold all his stock and buy gold so <clears throat> uh, after 2005, uh, after 2008, uh, nobody laughed at him anymore. And 2011 uh, is an all-time high, like 500 to 1,800. That's a that is, this is pretty cool, right? And for silver, oops. In terms of silver, oh my. So in terms of silver, it was at all-time high back in 2011, 
and at the top it's very simple they don't want silver to go even higher and they increase the margin requirement and with, with the increase of the margin requirement the uh, commodity trader uh, have to have you know they have to sell silver because of the core margin right so they so the whole market collapsed once again and it takes about eight to ten years to complete the cycle and start start another bull market so let me know what you think uh, do you think we are at the very beginning of the bull market cycle for the commodities please comment below i would love to hear from you so let's talk about ethereum DeFi or decentralized finance and they're talking about potentially can reach one billion uh once ethereum price recover uh, right now, Ethereum, Ethereum price is pretty low, right? 128, 130 or something like that, right? At the, wait, I think it's one, I can't remember. Uh, maybe 136. Uh, <clears throat> so at the time, uh, at the time, Ethereum was at all-time high back in 2018, and it was almost a thousand. But the thing is, this year is different. We have a whole bunch of like decentralized finance project. Basically, the DeFi allows the investor to lend and borrow digital assets uh, using a smart contract. And in return, of course, they're going to earn some uh, interest. And so, so this is like you can just, uh, you know, loan out your digital asset without going through a middleman and all that, right? That's pretty cool. The only thing you have to, uh, using a smart contract, the only thing you have to pay the E for gas, right? The, the gas, that's all you need to do. And in 2019, Ethereum based uh, DeFi grew 60%, and right now it's a record 3 million Ethereum, or 2.75% of the total lock in DeFi uh, project. So, if, with more and more DeFi project, that means more and more Ethereum will be locked in, the, in those projects, and that means there will be high demand for Ethereum. And you can see the demand for Ethereum has been creeping up since June and has been going uh, up, uh, has been going higher. And right now it's record high basically. And I suspect with more and more project coming up, they will. This will go. I mean, I'm suspecting they will uh, have more demand of Ethereum. More Ethereum will be locked. That means it's good for the price of Ethereum in uh, in the long run. Uh, instead of using instead of a whole bunch of crappy projects, this is more. A real world financial uh, asset uh, that you can digitize and then you can loan out your your uh, token and then you can earn some interest <clears throat> and then there's some project they also digitize uh, the real world asset and then you buy the token and to basically mimic the current asset uh, there's a whole bunch of uh, things that they can play and of course, the only drawback is uh, that can put a pause in DeFi is the regulatory uh, government intervention, KYC, all that thing. And I don't know, we'll see. And of course, people um, lock up their Ethereum as collateral and then they earn interest because of this bear market. Let me know what you think about the Ethereum DeFi project. And there's a website, a DeFi Pulse. You can actually you can do lending, earn income. You can check it out. This is pretty cool. And total value lock right now is six hundred fifty-seven point five million. And the make maker uh, is a lending uh, lending project. And then over three hundred seventy million lock. Synthetic is a derivatives. Over hundred twenty-one million lock. Compound is a lending platform. Installed Debt is a lending platform. Uniswap is a decentralized exchange. DXDY is a lending. Bancor is a decentralized exchange. New Network is lending. WBTC is an asset. Kyber Network, of course, is a decentralized exchange. So, and there's, there's a whole bunch of, there's also a payment system as well. So, with like payment system, lending, derivatives, stuff like that, everything they, you know, require Ethereum, Ethereum to be locked in their project. Let me know what you think about the DeFi, uh, the DeFi project. I think uh, 2020, it will be the DeFi uh, theme, right? <laughs> I don't know. Let me know what you think. Uh, I would love to hear from you. And uh, let's see. I think I talked about uh, Dream Rickers. Uh, yeah, I forgot to talk about this. So Dream Rickers uh, talk about gold in 2026 will be 14,000. The thing is that like, nobody has a crystal ball and I don't know how he come up with 14,000. Um, you know, a lot of analysts, they, they predict things incorrectly. So I would just take it as a grain of salt. But anyway, uh, the next stop, we're going to talk about the 461 crypto wallet, which is a probably whale wallet that hold over like 40% of the Ethereum, ADA, Litecoin, and US Tether, the Tether. <clears throat> so 
So let's see. So for Bitcoin, 39 edges on 11.1%. That's not too bad, I guess. 150 Ethereum for Ethereum, 154 edges on 40%. Bitcoin Cash, 105 edges on 28%. Litecoin, 128 edges. And Bitcoin SV, 104 address on 25%. ADA, 39 address on 40%. 40%. Oh, no. This is even worse. Like ADA Project Cardano, 39 address on 40%. Seriously. I mean, are they in a cartel or what? So for Tether, 140 address on 58%. Oh, wow. This is basically a real game. The Tether, they can print whatever they want. So 140 address on 58%. That's insane. This is very, very centralized. This is not good. I mean, it defeats the whole purpose of the fundamental blockchain technology. Decentralize the power to the back. Decentralize the power back, uh, back to the people. I don't think so. Um, another thing is right now, uh, sticking coin, you know, in the uh, for the Cardano network and all that. I mean, you only have thirty nine address that hold forty percent of the coin that can t easily control the the network. I mean, that's not good. And uh, Ethereum is slightly better, but still 40, only uh, 154 address, only 40% of the token is still... Um, well, we'll see. Let me know what you think about this. I don't like it at all, but it's, it looks like there's a high room for manipulation. Please comment below what you think about this. I would love to hear from you. And let me know what you think about the DeFi, the decentralized finance for Ethereum project, as well as gold and silver and Bitcoin as well. What do you think about the direction? Please comment, comment below. I would love to hear from you. If you find this video helpful, smash the like button, subscribe to my channel. Also share with your friends. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out the upcoming airdrop or token swap. Also, you can follow me on Twitter, library.tv as well. Remember, crypto deep divers, we the people take control of our money. Stay wise, stay safe, peace. I'm not a financial advisor. Investing in cryptocurrency, commodity, or stock market can have inherent risk. Please use your due diligence.